Hi all and welcome to the 80D V's 90D dynamic range test. In this video I'm going to take a series of shots and in this video I'm going to start at ISO 100. Last year I think I did start at 400, 800. I used the IISOs to recover the shadows to have a look at the differences and it really wasn't wasn't a perfect comparison you really should start at the base iso when you're going to recover the shadows two three full stops maybe four full stops so in this video we will start iso 100 408 1632 and we'll underexpose them two and three stops and we'll recover the shadows and we'll take a look at the penalties for doing that and that is again with the 80d and the 90d well here we are, we're now going to take a quick look at the dynamic range and highlight recovery of of course you've just seen it on the intro of the 90D and the 80D, just check my microphone's recording. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I did underexpose the images, if we just go to the develop module and we'll see at 100, um, hang on, I'm just not, here we go, we're at ISO 100, oh let me just reset this and reset these right so you'll see that i perfectly exposed it there underexposed it one stop uh, two stops and then three stops but for this video i'm just going to use three stops instead of two so here's iso 100 recovered three full stops from the 90d i'm now just going to go to the i'll just reset it and reset this right so there's the 80d we'll now recover that three full stops and we'll quickly just fly fly back to the beginning of the set and we'll just go before and after you can see that it's like chalk and cheese is the difference we'll press the compare key and we'll just fly over to oops the 90d we'll now zoom in 90d on the left 80d on the right and we'll just have a look around and see what we can see and looking at that straight away I can, they, they both look very much same you can definitely see more detail in the 90d but at the end of the day it is a bigger sensor but that's pretty much uh, a fair comparison press the d key we'll now go to 400 so that's perfectly exposed one stop two stops under three stops under i'll just show you that's already been done look i've already put the three stops on but that's out of the camera and we've got three stops i'll just compare that the red one here there's 400 hang on 100 one stop right that it's that one there but you'll see if i just reset it that picture it's it's definitely that's the one with three full stops on it We'll just now zoom in, 90D on the left, 80D on the right. And again, you can just see there's slightly more noise on the 90D, but it's not that bad at all. But you can definitely see that there's a bit more detail at this sensor from the 90D. We'll just take the compare key off, press the develop. I'm just trying to hurry this video on. So we'll go to 800 before and after on the 90d i'll press the compare key 800 normal exposed one two stops and that's your third stop under exposed we'll have a look now and again i mean to be fair there's not a great deal in it but it is definitely cleaner is the um 90d and if you look around this button here and around the flash and stuff like that there's more detail from the sensor is it chalk and cheese no but there is more detail press the c key right we'll now go to 1600 is that the three full stops there three full stops underexposed at 1600 now you can see we're introducing a bit of noise but this is full screen i'll just press the compare key and we'll whip over to 1600 one two stops and that's the third stop We'll now zoom in again, 90D on the left, 80D on the right. And again, you can see there's not a great deal in it, if I'm honest. Apart from if you look around all this flash head here and stuff like that, and around this button here, you can see it's all turning mushy on the, on the 80D, which 
ISO is not just about noise. It's also about how your image holds up and and doesn't look mushy. And also, when you shoot at these ISOs, you, you also notice that when you come to edit it, that it doesn't edit nice when you start putting contrast and sharpness and vibrance. It, it just doesn't edit quite as good. But anyway, I'll shut I'll shut that f up for now, and um, we'll go to thirty two hundred. Let's just have a look. This is three full stops under exposed. Bang, and um, looks a bit noisy there. We'll press the compare key. Perfectly exposed. Look, I'm just going to show you something on the left and the right. You can see, even though the 80D is on the right now, it looks cleaner than the ISO 3200 brought up three stops. Because obviously that's perfectly exposed on the right. It's not been underexposed three stops deliberately. It's per perfectly exposed. And if we just zoom in, I show people this on every video, but look how clean the properly exposed ISO 3200 is. And the underexposed one is really noisy. Don't get me wrong, it's still not bad for three full stops bringing it up. But a, a word of advice is to always try to get your exposure. I know people will tell you, I did hear it on a video not so long ago, about somebody saying you can underexpose and just fix it later on. But that's not true. You can't do that. Don't listen to that advice. Well, you can at some ISOs, I suppose. But right, anyway. Uh, just hang on. Where's 64? Have we got 6400? Is this 6400? Three full stops? Yeah. And you, there's another example. 6400. Look how noisy it looks. We'll now press the compare key. And we'll go and have a look at... But what I'll do is I'll quickly stop at 6400. Perfectly exposed from the 80D. This is the 80D. Look how much cleaner it looks. Because the exposure is right. But anyway, for this video, we intentionally underexpose the image. And if you have a look now, you, the camera on the HD, it's looking green and it's looking a lot more. It's lost a look at, look at the mush around the camera and the lever. Look, even on the 90D, it's starting to go, but there's still detail there. But it's obviously at 6400, three full stops underexposed. You don't want to be doing that. So there's my look at the dynamic range. What will I say? At the end of the day, I'd say the 90D is about two thirds of a stop. Maybe a stop, I, I wouldn't know without uh, doing a scientific test, but it's definitely better. Is it loads better? No, but it does offer eye autofocus. It does offer 4K video recording. It does offer the joystick, which is fantastic. It, or, it offers better 1080p slow motion. Um, if you don't need any of those features, there's nothing wrong with the 80D. But if you do, then get a 90D. And if you watch my grey import video and you get it in grey imported, you can get it for a really good price and sell your 80D for a good price or, or keep the both. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up and click that bell icon to get notifications as soon as they come. The video to follow this will be the IISO video quality test. But again, spoiler alert, it's about two thirds to a stop better on the 90D. But bearing in mind, you do get 4K, so you could downscale it. I will also do a video where I shoot at IISOs on the 90D and I'll downscale it from 4K to 1080, which will make the video look, look tons better anyway on the noise side. But anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you.